stop chasing women don't chase any lady to the extent that she begins to feel like whoa 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 this guy that is chasing me like this ah why are they pursuing me like this now what's going happen no to even make it worse some people go to the extent of saying things like ah you're the only thing that makes sense in my life right now if you don't say yes to me if you're not in my life what am i going to do ah my brother, don't do that. She's going to run away from you. Why? Because she's going to feel so much intensity. She's going to feel like, say, ah, ah, this one way they hold me like this. What's going to happen? Ah, please, I need some space. Instead, channel all of that enthusiasm, that drive, that energy into pursuing your life goal, your life ambitions. Hi, friend. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, let's look at those masculine attraction triggers that women respond to instantly. The first one is have a purpose and mission in life. This might sound like a no-brainer because I'm sure you would have probably heard it before, but then it is very important. When you're pursuing your life goals and mission, even if you're not there yet, but you're seriously pursuing your goal and you're just in your dream, in your purpose, trust me, a woman is going to feel attracted to you immediately. Women have this thing for men who are purposeful, who are goal-driven. Every sensible woman knows that a guy who is living in his purpose and chasing his dreams, even if he's not there yet, is going to eventually become successful. And that is one thing that they find very attractive. Now, don't get me wrong. When you find someone you are attracted to, someone you like, like your spec, should you make your intentions known? Absolutely, yes. If you see baby you like, there's nothing wrong in letting her know your intentions. Let her know, say, girl, I vibe you, I feel you, you know, but don't go stay for that point of letting her know. You know how women are? We have this shakara in us now. When you tell us, say, you like us, we could just say, even though say, we they like you back, but we just want to observe from afar, you know, we just want to take our time and think about it you know just look at you for a while so if you just go intensely just go as if you don't get any other thing where they do for this life that is when she's going to run away from you let her know you are interested but then don't lose focus of your life ambition don't lose focus of your purpose because that is what is going to bring her close and that takes me to the next point don't be weak i'm going to explain the bible already described the woman as a weaker vessel so by virtue of being a woman there are so so many things that we cannot do we cannot match up for example we cannot match up our strength with that of a man no matter how short man be no matter how small man be man now man if you owe you like this <laughs> you're gonna say now man you know my two kids one is a boy and one is a girl when the boy was still very small like those kind of six months stains below one year my baby girl will always be beating him every time she's beating him and i'm like hmm, the way really this boy will touch you you go shake go and then now he's almost four years old and one day she was just in his business he got so tired that he just retaliated and she started crying so that's to show you that <laughs> man now man you see that energy that strength that physical strength god has given it to them and nothing can take it away from a man so when i say don't be weak i mean don't present yourself as another woman she's already a woman she doesn't need another woman in her life she need a man when you're going through difficulty, nobody says you should not feel the pressure or just, you know, complain. But don't complain so much to her such that she begins to feel afraid in the relationship or she begins to feel that I don't think this guy can take care of me. You see, being vulnerable is good and all of that, but nobody wants to see it all day long. Know when to complain and know when to stop it because... <laughs> The way women are is that we look at you as if you're a pillar. And when the pillar is looking as if it's crumbling, what does she want to do? Don't burden her up so much with complain. Maybe you go out on a date, you're just complaining about your job. Complain, complain, complain. When the days are bad, even if you fall down, pick up yourself. Tell yourself that you are strong. You can do this and you will achieve your purpose. This might sound like a motivation, right? But that is what I'm all about. I talk about relationship and I talk about personal development. And you cannot have personal development if you do not have motivation. Personal affirmations are very powerful. It's not about saying, ah, I believe all these motivational speakers, I beg, make you face reality. Eh, hey, good to face reality, but I'm telling you the truth from my personal experience. You see affirmations, positive affirmations, they, they work. Let me give you a typical example. When I started this channel, 
Like, I didn't know jack about video recording, about editing, nothing. But it's something I've always wanted to do. I didn't have any knowledge whatsoever. It's not like I know it all right now, but you know, I'm kind of better than when I started. Okay, if you check some of my old videos, you would understand what I'm saying. So back then, sometimes I'll upload the video. After three days, I'll come back and check and I'll see four views. I'll see nine views. I'll be like, ah when this thing will happen. I'll be so demoralized, I'll feel so sad, but I kept going. I kept going. Even when I wasn't getting any views, I'll post a video, no comment, no traction whatsoever. When I wake up in the morning, I tell myself that I am a success. Anything I touch succeeds. Anything I touch succeeds. I kept saying that to myself. And I wasn't just saying it, I actually meant it. All right, I begin to envision myself, you know, operating in a kind of different place, different place that I would rather be compared to my present circumstance. Until one day I posted a video and I came back the next day and I saw a thousand views. And I was like, ah, my eye need to see well, I'll be, it be like, see, I need glasses. I looked again, I'm like, ah. 1,000 views. I was like, <laughs> I was so excited. To some people, this doesn't mean anything or what. 1,000 views waiting in hair, waiting. You know, but to me, at that time, it meant the whole world. Like, I was so happy. I was so excited. And I told myself that, ah, eventually, this thing is looking like it too. I am not there yet. Right now, I don't even have up to 10K subscribers. But honestly, I am so grateful because I've moved past from that first stage of nine views, four views. And, you know, to this point, that is to tell you that positive affirmation works. It's not just about making the affirmations, but you have to put in the work while you're grinding. They do your thing, they go, you're still very positive. Take away all the negativities from you. Just, you know, kind of take it away from your mind because if we're not careful as human beings you find yourself dwelling so much in the negative that it's going to begin to affect everything on the outside that's just the way it works our energy comes from the inside sometimes when your body is so weak to do something you feel like i'm just so tired i beg i know if you do that thing but when you feel motivated from the inside you won't even know where the energy has come from. You could just realize, see, oh my, they do this thing. I'm just, you know, that is just the way it is. Look at your life, whatever it is you're passing through. You might not be rosy right now, but look at the end. Envision a very successful end for yourself. It's going to drive you. Your physical disposition is going to be positive. Every sensible woman can feel positive energy. Moving on to the next point, trigger the right emotions. When you're with that woman you're attracted to, try and do things not because you want to get a reward or a payment for it because you know we live in a time that is so transactional everything is almost as if it's transactional nobody does anything for free anymore you keep hearing hey, what do i get in return what do i get in return even kids nowadays <laughs> sometimes you want to send the child it's like hey, what are you going to give to me <sighs> Try and trigger the right emotions with people. Even if it's not the woman you're attracted to, even if it's amongst other people, do things not because you want to get reward from it or because you want to get payment. Trust me, any woman watching and observing is going to find you attractive. Coming up next, be the man. Let me explain. Be the man in the sense that you need to have this I've got it attitude. When things go wrong in the house, just have this, you know, don't worry, babe, I got it. You don't have to say it, but you know, your, your behavior is already saying it that, ah, I think I don't need to tell him anything. He can do this. I don't need to tell him this. I already know that he's going to fix the situation. Just be a fixer. Somebody will be asking, how can I be a fixer? What do you mean be a fixer? What if I don't have money? What if I don't? Most times it's not about the money. It's not about what you have. It's about your attitude. For example, when you go out on a date, don't go there and be telling her you want to split bills. What not be that? Eh? You carry a woman come out, where you go impress, you go to tell her, say, let's do 50-50. If you don't have money, don't take her out to certain kind of restaurants. My brother, choose your clothes according to your size. That one said, now swag, you don't know. Don't live a false life just because you want to impress anybody. If you know you cannot afford it, let her know. Then when you can truly afford it, take her to that place you want to take her to. And please, by God, don't ask her to split bills. She's going to lose confidence in you. It's not attractive at all. To me, it's like a turn off. Forget all this noise out there. Don't go and be telling a woman you want to split bills. 
Even when she offers to split bills with you, my brother tell her, say no. If she's ordering so much that you cannot afford, maybe you let her know that I didn't carry extra money for all of these things. So maybe one will come next time, you can have it. But whatever it is you're eating from that table, do not allow her pay for anything. All right, that is how you become attractive. And let me tell you the truth. It's not about the food, the fancy restaurant and all of that. It's about you, your charisma, your attitude. Just have that I got it attitude. And lastly, don't let your emotions dictate the way you respond to the world. Now I get it. Sometimes you can't help these things, right? There are times that almost the things don't over you. You can't take it anymore. But... Your ability to control your emotions, it's like, it's a whole lot. It's very attractive. When everybody expects that you're supposed to be removing your clothes by now and, you know, just hitting your head on the wall and you're so calm. Ah, the ability to stay calm in the face of difficulty is very, very attractive. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Also, check out this video on the screen and stay blessed. I'll see you on the next one.